Hey guys, it's Ryan at Guatney Performance. I wanted to take a few minutes to go over some common things we see with the LT engines and actually LS engines as well, but I'm going to use some LT uh, examples this morning and uh, some checking practices, some things to look at when you're uh, putting your combos together, especially when you're going more aggressive, uh, more max effort, to make sure that everything is good before you fire this thing up check things measure 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 make sure it's right okay so the first thing i want to show you um for example our drop-in piston setup this is a as a dish that's cut out uh, when the piston is manufactured not for the spark plug electrode this is for the actual quench pad on the cylinder head right here that is not for the uh, for the spark plug tip so what issue is that going to cause what what's going to happen that's not an issue when you're running the heads unmilled or you're running you know standard thickness gaskets where you're going to run into an issue potentially is when you mill these heads um, 40 50 60 thousandths wherever you mill you know pretty aggressive and you run a 40 thousandths gasket. You can't run a 28 gasket, by the way, with our drop-ins because the deck height or the, uh, the actual compression height is different on this versus the stock pistons to maintain that factory compression ratio with the large valve reliefs. You can't run a 28 thousandths gasket. There's not enough quench. So side note there. But when you mill these heads, you're going to run into issues with uh, the spark plug electrode uh, or the ground strap contacting right here in the corner in between the quench pad and the fuel bowl. Um, it gets really tight uh, the more you mill. So this little tool here is something that actually will thread into the spark plug hole uh, when you're doing your mock-up and assembly. Clay these areas uh, to check the clearance. You've got to clay this stuff. Check it. The valve release, we know 200 thousandths adequate relief for most of what you're going to do. Uh, even some large solid roller stuff, these release will clear. But you need to clay your dome area to make sure you don't have any interference with your cylinder head when you start milling excessively. And uh, check the spark plug tip clearance. This, these are things that, that people don't think about a lot and can cause some minor or major issues uh, when you fire this thing up. Anyways, there's a there's a fly cutting tool basically, uh, or similar to a fly cutting tool, uh, made by Lindy that will will give you some spark plug clearance, and it's really simple to use. You check it. And so if you have interference, this will screw into the spark plug hole, um, and simply use the lock collar to set your depth on how much you want to cut, and uh, and cut you know whatever you need, you know 30, 40, 50 thousandths. You're not going to remove much material or uh, add much volume to your uh, you know, to your overall package just by putting a little spark plug tip relief in there. Watch that stuff. You know, maybe your combination doesn't need to have an extended tip plug. You can run a non-extended tip plug as well. But that, that are some, that's one of the major things we see um, as you start milling these LT heads more aggressively is, is, is spark plug tip clearance. Not so much on factory pistons, more so on, on this, but you always need to check that stuff. Same thing with LS. Those are things that need to be checked uh, when you're putting these packages together. Don't just slap it together. Spend the time to check the stuff right. Um, next, I want to show you another problem area you're gonna run into. Um, so you've got an LT head with factory chamber. Uh, we don't see and see the chamber because we like to keep the uh, the compression at you know up. We don't want to add volume uh, and drop the compression down because it will hurt performance. So this area right around the outside here, uh, with the factory piston, when you mill this head uh, and run a 28 gasket, you have to watch the spark plug quench pad. There are situations where you mill enough and run a thin enough gasket you will have to smooth this little pad down to get a little bit of clearance. We have seen that make contact. We have seen it make contact around here. Um, that's not from over revving. That's not from anything besides it just being ran too tight to start with. Check these areas, make sure it's right. Um, otherwise, that's really about all I wanted to talk to on the, uh, 
on the cylinder head and uh, piston spark plug tip package. The next area I want to talk about um, is the most common um, misconception and probably problem in the LT community. Over camming. Okay. You need compression for big camshafts. Big cams need big compression. When you start putting big cams in, you bleed dynamic cylinder pressure off. The LT engine is extremely sensitive to that. You have to put compression in the engines. Will our stage four cam fit without fly cutting? Yes. Will our track attack? Yes. Are they ideal without milling and fly cutting? Absolutely not. I don't recommend it. Um, I know some guys want the large cams, they like the sound, but you're not getting any more power from those camshafts and sometimes you can actually take a step backwards. So call, message in if you have questions, you know, get with us and make sure you're putting together the right package for your combination. We want to make sure that it is 100% uh, optimal for what you're wanting to do. They're very sensitive to compression and we've redesigned our stage one, two, three cams to allow a little bit more compression without having to fly cut but uh compression is king with the lt engine and i urge you guys to not get into the uh big cam mania just trying to get the largest stage camshaft because you think it's going to be better it's not um now that being said uh cars like uh brandon hills uh, zach bowman uh brady revis these really, really fast cars that make a ton of power, they have large camshafts, uh, larger than our track attack cam. And they also have large compression ratio to make that combo happy. So um, that's all, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time today. I just, some topics I wanted to go over, some common uh, issues we see on the LT platform when people are uh, uh, putting these combos together, just wanted to shed you know, some of our experiences and, and our opinions on the situations. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a shout. Thanks.